Alright, so I finished this, uh, if it can be seen, this Lyndon, the Years of Lyndon Johnson means of ascent. Now, it's not entirely about talking all about Lyndon Johnson, it's about events surrounding his uh, campaign of the 1948, and also a, a little bit of his time in, in Congress, too. And you get a lot of detail in a short period of time through the 40s of uh, how he conducted himself. And um, to really sum it up as, as uh, condensed as possible, you could say that his whole political life was revolved around the morality of the ballot box. Okay, achieving the maximum amount of votes was his ultimate goal in life through, throughout his whole political career. And his morality sometimes was amorality because he would go to any means to get those votes whether it be on the campaign trail, running around kissing babies and shaking hands, riding around in his helicopter from city to city when he was running for Senate against Coke Stevenson's, or if uh, underhandedly his, his staff would, would hand out money to uh, propaganda uh, sellers. Like, there was talk about some guys who would walk around they're getting paid by Lyndon Johnson, who paid a lot of money uh, uh, to these people. He, they would walk around and, and spread propaganda against his candidates. And uh, there's, there's a lot of that, that negativity that really uh, show, showed up in, in his type of campaign work. Because what, uh, a lot of times when he's behind, he, he just... He resolved to attacking the other candidate and also um, buying votes too. There's talk about how Mexicans were getting paid to uh, vote and this is this is for uh, I think con the congressional seats they're talking about like there's 10,000 Mexicans uh, paid to vote who are getting paid five dollars per vote but even if, if uh, paying Mexicans to vote, and apparently, um, if a Mexican accepted the money and they did it, but they didn't vote on the, the the polling days, their their names would be written in or something. But if the buying didn't work, then Johnson would next step would be to steal the election, and that would involve adding extra names, f stuffing the ballot box, and all that. And that's back during paper days, electronic days. Apparently, it's even easier because of the source code and and what's going on with that a code can eat itself I guess but uh, yeah talk Johnson talked about they talked about his uh, his illness I didn't really make note of that but because of my my gallbladder illness it's it's interesting he had um, at about age 39 I think is when he's running for Senate at age 39 he had some uh, issues with uh, kidney stones so uh, he was in a lot of pain with that, and I think he had to get surgery. Uh, and I, I can relate just the pain I'm going through with uh, this issue. So that's that's uh, gonna like his his uh, his means to an end, his means of ascent are are pretty pretty underhanded. Okay, it's 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 about out stealing the opponent. All right, he he wanted he he didn't care about uh, getting. Well, he he worked hard to show that he cared about the popular vote, but um, yeah, overall it's it's uh, it's just amazing how uh, he he uh, was just so headstrong that he, he needed to uh, work towards becoming the president that um, stealing votes really wasn't uh, that big of a deal to him the way it sounds. Uh, he didn't want to appear to be the guy who stole votes. He, he was offered some investments in oil uh, contracts but he turned that down because he, he said that would ruin him politically. So he he was well aware of of uh, of his appearance on, uh, with uh, certain uh, affiliations, but 
she still went to any means to get those votes 